Roman Cookery Show. My name is Jedius Dogatius. Today we will be making Torius ex Oiza in English a goat goat cheese with rice in in vine leaves. Let's cook! First of all, let's start with the ingredients. First, we have 100 grams of basmati rice. Then we have one tablespoon of olive oil. Then we have one beef stock cube. But me and the master are vegetarian, so we have vegetable stock cube. And then we have 100 grams of goat's cheese. Next, we have 20 to 25 vine leaves. Then we have one egg. Then we have 60 millilitres of clear honey. Finally, we have sea salt to taste. Let's measure out our 100 grams of basmati rice. First, you pour 100 grams in. A bit more. There we go. Then you measure out your one tablespoon of olive oil. Then we heat up the olive oil till it's nice and hot, and then add the add the rice. Keep stirring the rice for one or two minutes so it doesn't burn. Do it quite slowly. Or well then if you do it quite fast it might the rice might spray everywhere. Put the pan to one side to make it cool off. Next, cut the goat's cheese into little squares. Next, crack an egg. Afterwards, you beat it. Then you start to beat. Next, we add the cheese and the egg into the rice. We mix the goat's cheese, the egg and the rice together. While we're boiling the kettle to the stock, we're going to stuff the vines. You put a little blob of the mixture in there. Use your hands to kind of make it into a circle. Then you, you, and then you get this little corner. Flip it over like that. You get this one, that one there, and then you go like that, and then you go. This one is over here, and then this side over here, and then you flip it like that. Easy as that. And then you, and then you can have a big bowl like this, and then. Put them so they're all full up in there. That's how you make them. Next you pour in the vegetable stock. Enough, just enough to cover the vine leaves. Put it in a preheated oven at 170 degrees. Thank you. 
cook for one hour. Take it out carefully. Mind you don't burn yourself. Put it on the side to cool down. Mmm, that smells delicious. It's good enough to eat. Next, pour 60 millilitres of honey into the frying pan. This is a good tip. But put um, the spoon in boiling hot water so the honey doesn't stick to the spoon. nice and runny. Take one of your parcels and roll it about in the honey. When it's all nice and covered in honey, place it onto a, a grease free piece of paper and then it's ready to serve. Here it is, a lovely plate of Tory and Exoiza. Where's my dinner? Coming, sir. I hope you like watching. Cheerio!